guys now begin to trek in the drive to Moab. I didn't plan on going there, but looks like we're gonna make it happen. We're gonna fly there. We're also gonna fly um, Fort Butte, Butte or something like that. So I'm stoked. Let's get this four hour drive on the road. Good morning, everyone. We are actually just now rolling up after a two and a half hour drive to Factory Butte. Trevor's gonna probably be half an hour behind me. I just want to stop, look at this little map real quick and just appreciate, once again, just more beautiful Utah scenery. When they say this place is unimaginably beautiful, it absolutely is. I don't know if we're gonna be flying around this structure or whatever, but I have another five miles left to go. So we'll kind of see what happens. Unfortunately, I had a little incident at the Corona Arch, literally on takeoff, I ended up having a surge come in and knock my wing back, which pulled me back. There goes that. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. That looks fun. No, that looks expensive. Yeah. Can help? Real quick, yeah. You're, you're close. There we go. No bueno, he didn't even see what happened either. And yeah, it was just a fun experience. So, did not get to fly through the arch, thankfully I did hike it. So, um, we're gonna be out in Factory Butte flying though, and Trevor stands by and says that this is probably one of the best and most beautiful spots to fly at. And um, I'm gonna put that to the test and we're gonna kind of find out and see how pretty it actually is and see where we can land on top of a mountain. Cause that is 100% happening today. So, let's drive these last five miles and uh, check out and see what Factory Butte has to offer. So this is the spot. We're gonna see if we can make this happen in a no wind situation. We're gonna be heading straight out. Got a divot, another divot. We're gonna definitely watch Trevor go first because uh, Trevor's the best at this, obviously. And uh, he's probably gonna get up first try within like 20 seconds. So definitely just gonna head uh, straight over there right after we get up. All right, let's get this girl started. Come on. Oh man, let's hopefully I can get up in the air first try because this is gonna suck if not. It's super hot. Uncuffed out here. Trevor's already killing it up there. He's already. Ah, forward launch. All right, lucky quarter there on the ground. Let's see if we can't get it. All right. might be wondering what happens when you have to use the restroom when you're flying. Well, after I just got up, I realized I need to use the restroom. So I know he was actually already headed there. Might as well head to the restroom as well. This is what happens when you have to use the restroom while flying. All right, we got our landing spot. We just got to make it happen now. Probably trimming for this. Ugly. So should I start coming in? Oh, you can't hear me. Never mind. All right, let's get this launch. <laughs> Ain't nothing to it but to do it.
drop off the ledge right here. Woohoo! There's Trevor, be it Trevor. Woo, that was close. I saw that shadow super close to that thing. That a boy. God, he is a good pilot. I'll give him that. He is a really good pilot. Coming back for super training with Trevor. We are going to climb to the top of this ridge. Soar the ridge all the way down. And then go to the... Oh my gosh. The other freaking mountain over there. I can't believe I forgot what it was called. You, uh, you it. What up, buddy? Dude, this is gnarly. Look at this. Dude, this is the most beautiful, like, dry mountain area I've ever seen in my life. Look at this is insane. This had to have all been water at one point. I like want to believe that inside my head. What's up Trev? to put this ridge line right here. Gosh, this is so beautiful. This is so eerie feeling because like if I was standing on the ledge that'd be very scary. But I'm literally flying right next to the ledge and it's nothing. A little bit of lift right there. over to the right side of this ledge because you can see right there it gets squirrely there's so much different wind shear and everything up here i just need to follow his route man that's all i need to do there's no way in how he's landing up here is there are you to fly lower like i don't get it he's oh no he's getting thrown around too it's not just me okay Oof. Like, I'm barely even on the motor right now. I'm just, I'm paragliding. I'm officially getting enough lift just from, just from the mountain. I'm paragliding the ledge right now. This is so cool. Let's try some flying through here. All these sharp rock edges. It's so weird how all this is just, just chilling. I just like can only imagine this being an underwater wonderland at one point. so cool. All the different colored rocks. This is the best way to explore in my eyes, man. Look at the sheer size of this. Whether or not I'm going to be able to land on it is going to be very questionable. Sixty-five hundred feet right here. Damn Mojo keeps wanting to oscillate on me.
we'll see what we can do. This is the most surreal structure I've ever been close to in on a paramotor in anything. I could definitely do a touch and go on this though. It could be very sketchy though too. Gosh, this is terrifying. Nope, we're not even getting close to that. I felt that wind, I'm good. Totally good on that. We'll look from above. Maybe we'll climb up to 10,000 feet. Who knows? Let's get up there a little bit. Right, this little circle right here. That's one way to get down. All right, let's take her in for a landing. Oh, what a flight, man. What a flight. I didn't crash. What a freaking flight right there. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that beautiful flight out here in, oh my gosh, I keep forgetting the name of this place, something view. Factory view. I don't know why they call it a factory. Maybe it's because it looks like factory land as if there would be a bunch of buildings out here. Obviously flying that ridge was beautiful, amazing time out here. Thank you to Mr. Trevor Steele. We're gonna turn this corner. Big thank you to this guy. You bet. Greatly appreciate him. Amazing hospitality and um, great person to hang around, great person to be around. And I can only imagine what it's like to train with him. So um, if you guys haven't or do want to get into the sport, Backcountry PPG, check out the site. Trevor's an amazing, amazing and a very patient person when it comes to training people. So I'm going to come down here again for about four days to do the advanced and um, abs just, just absolutely good time all around. So uh, like, subscribe his channel, Trevor Steely, obviously my channel. Um, his Instagram, Trevor Steely, my Instagram at SuperChuckCW. You guys, hope you have a great day. Stay blessed, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.